So the Dean always says that this is a family environment and I really believe that everyone here treats one another like family. We have a very close atmosphere here. We have small class numbers and a small number of faculty. So we are together a lot. We learn from one another and we help to encourage one another here. So I think that because the classroom sizes are so small, it does allow for a little more personalization between the instructors and the students. So I think that's really one of the things that sets William Carey apart from these larger, more traditional pharmacy schools.
Hi, my name is Dr. Brett Golson. I have the honor of serving as the Dean of the Cooper School of Missions and Ministry Studies at William Carey University. Our namesake, William Carey, was both a scholar, a linguist, an entrepreneur, and a missionary. We believe that God will take your profession and use it for His great mission. Carey's motto was expect great things from God and attempt great things for God. When you come to Carey, we want to prepare you to attempt great things for God. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for this day and we invite your presence as we have come together to celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates. We ask your blessings upon the graduates and may each of them know your presence in their lives and understand how to use their abilities for your glory and kingdom. Lord, we ask your blessings upon the families, friends, and the William Carey University administration, faculty, and staff. Help us to exemplify your love in our actions and words and may this celebration be a reflection of the blessings that we may find in knowing and loving you. Amen. I'm so proud to welcome all of you who are viewing these uh, graduation ceremonies. This has been an extremely difficult year for these students. Some of them were here when the tornado de devastated our campus. And they have continued faithfully working toward their degree. And now, in the midst of the corona pandemic, they have continued on. We have four ceremonies this uh, week. And uh, in total, uh, 1,254 students graduating from Cary. We also will confer, confer an honorary Doctor of Public Service degree upon Senator Roger Wicker for his many years of service to our state and to the nation. We welcome you and we are so proud of the students who are graduating and we wish them the very best in the years ahead. Hello to President King, distinguished members of the administration and faculty, family members and friends, and graduates of August 2020. Thank you. It is indeed a high honor for me to take part in your special day, even if we're having to do it virtually. As of today, you are all members of a very elite group. Your friends and family have a right to be proud. Because of your hard work and study, you have achieved what only one-third of Americans and about 7% of the world achieve, a college diploma. For some of you today, it's a baccalaureate degree. For others, you've received a master's or even a doctorate. Congratulations are in order. 
you have earned the right to take a bow. Now, I have the task of offering you a few words of wise counsel at this special milestone. And I expect that I need to be quick about it so that you can get on with the business at hand. If you will indulge me, I think some of the events that have occurred during your time at William Carey are instructive for this moment. There's no doubt that when you arrived on campus as eager young freshmen, you had a certain idea of what college would be like. But for many of you, your freshman year was rudely interrupted by a tornado that ripped through campus. Most of the dorms and classroom buildings were damaged and some destroyed. Some of you even suffered injuries yourselves. I remember walking through campus with President King shortly after that storm. The sight of the destruction was hard to take in. But in the weeks and months that followed, our state witnessed an amazing recovery on your campus. Disaster did not get the final word. Instead, you pulled together with hope and determination. Your campus was restored in two and a half years. Enrollment kept going up, and you even got some early practice with online learning. What a remarkable recovery. It was a testament to your resilience, your prayers, and God's provision. And let's be honest, one big advantage we had is that we live in the United States of America, this land of unprecedented wealth and opportunity. Every contribution from a generous donor served not only as a credit to their own largesse of heart, but also to our unmatched system of free enterprise. These financial blessings are the product of hard work, life savings, stewardship, and a free economy supported by the rule of law. Let me charge you as you embark on your life's journey to preserve this great system you have inherited. Be thankful for it, improve upon it, and remember your obligation to those who will follow. Our nation is launching its own recovery at the moment. In fact, this year so far has been marked by three defining challenges. The first flashpoint came in January with the impeachment of the president. It may seem like a distant memory by now, but it was historic and weighty. Only twice before had Congress ever impeached a president of the United States. The Senate trial lasted nearly three weeks, and after days of hearing evidence and arguments, the president was acquitted. What a relief to get that highly charged moment behind us. No matter what side you were on on that issue, it seemed that America was getting back to some kind of normalcy. Then in February, the second moment of crisis arrived in the form of a global pandemic. People were dying in massive numbers. Hospitals were overcrowded. Health mandates sent our lives into lockdown mode and our society made the collective decision to shut down much of our economy. Stocks fell dramatically, savings were lost. On Capitol Hill, we crafted emergency legislation to get relief to families, workers, and small businesses who were suffering from no fault of their own. We passed legislation to expand testing and support the development of new treatments for the virus. We passed measures to suspend federal student loan payments and ease the financial burden on colleges. And four months later, as the pandemic continues to affect every aspect of American life, we are considering new measures to help our country get past this crisis and into a recovery. A couple of months into the pandemic, a third development came with a video of the senseless killing of George Floyd. Other instances came to light and nationwide protests followed. Americans across the board were outraged at what they saw. Unfortunately, peaceful protests around our country have been hijacked and the streets of our major cities, including Washington, became the scene of violent upheaval. Each of these crises has had a lasting impact on our society, our public health and our civic spirit. As we look toward recovery, there is no shortage of work to be done. Which brings me to my next focus, all of you. Each one of you has what the old classical writers called a vocation. By that, they did not mean what we often mean today, a job or an occupation. 
By vocation, they meant something deeper that touches the core of your being and what you were put on this earth to do. The writer and theologian Frederick Buechner wants to find vocation as the place where our deep gladness meets the world's deep need. So I ask you, what brings you deep gladness? And what needs do you see all around you in 2020? For one, our children need teachers, for now online, but eventually back in the classroom. Our hospitals and health clinics need nurses, doctors, surgeons. We need new startup businesses to revive our economy and bring jobs to those looking for work. And we need young people filled with the spirit to bring divine healing to our world. Yes, that means preachers and even missionaries like William Carey himself. But more often it will mean volunteering to teach Sunday school and adding your voice to the church choir. The needs are great, but each need is an opportunity to leave your mark on others and to leave the world in a better shape when you, than when you found it. Such optimism has defined our nation from its very beginning in 1776. There's a scene from the musical Hamilton that captures this. The setting is the eve of the American Revolution. Citizens, young and old, are tired and weighed down by British oppression. Enemy ships are lurking in the harbor, ready to put down a revolt. The future is anything but certain. And yet the young Americans on the streets of New York see through the immediate hurdles to what momentous possibilities lie ahead. Liberty, self-government, a new order of the ages. One of the young patriots, Eliza Schuyler, breaks out into song and sings, Look around, look around, how lucky we are to be alive right now. If that sentiment filled the hearts of young revolutionaries facing a war against Great Britain, a world superpower, how much more should today's college graduates feel the same way? To paraphrase Lin-Manuel Miranda, the celebrated writer of Hamilton, history is happening and we just happen to live in the greatest, freest land of opportunity the world has ever seen. As history unfolds, you will play a role in shaping the future. Let me invite you to embrace that role, to work and pray for the change you want to see. For God has done and can still do immeasurably more than all that we ask or think. You've been given a great gift in attending William Carey University and from everyone who has been given much, much will be required. Our country needs your service and I have every confidence that you are up to the job. Like your friends and family celebrating with you today, I think you're going to make us proud. Thank you and Godspeed. Hello, my name is Teresa Poole and I serve as Associate Dean for the School of Education. On behalf of the faculty and staff of the School of Education, we'd like to congratulate the class of 2020. Although we're unable to greet you in person, we want you to know that we're proud of each of you. The School of Education has graduated over 2,000 graduates during the last four years. By earning this degree, you're now joining us a distinguished alumni of educators. Congratulations on this achievement and we wish you well. By the authority of the Board of Trustees of William Carey University, I hereby confer upon you the degrees which you have earned with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities that throughout our world pertain thereto. Hi, I'm Gary Breland, Vice President for Academic Affairs and Provost. Welcome to Ceremony 2 of William Carey University August 2020 Virtual Commencement. In this ceremony, we are awarding doctoral and specialist degrees to candidates from the School of Education. On behalf of Dr. Ben Burnett, Dean of the School of Education, and Dr. Teresa Poole, Associate Dean, and the faculty, I would like to present candidates for degrees from the School of Education. The following candidates are receiving the Doctor of Education degree in Educational Leadership. Gary Brent Coleman. 
Tracy Maurice Cook, Connie J. Eubanks, Brianna J. Franklin, Paul J. Graham, Shannon LaVon Green, Rimsky Graves Labat, Marty McKay Ladner, Laura Amanda Matthews, Felicia H. McCardle, Charlotte C. McNeese, Charles Christopher Ropp, Heather Buckley Singley, Megan Nicole Touchstone, Deshandra C. Walker. The next group of students received the Doctor of Philosophy degree in Higher Education Administration. Lisa Michelle Bell, James David Collum, Geneva Vicole Lee, Courtney Renee Fortune Shoemaker. The next group of students are receiving the Specialist in Education degree. Stephanie Deanne Abel, Abigail Dutton Arnold, Ginger Ashley Allen, Brian Joseph Blackledge, Dana M. Brown, Hannah Long Carpenter, Christopher S. Coleman, Antonio Dimitric Cooley, Regina Covington, Lakeisha Cowart, Jessica Dalton, James M. Drennan IV, Andrea May Edgecombe, Sue Ellen W. Epps, Tanya Latrice Evans, Elsia L. Furley, Lauren Ashley Fortenberry, Richard Glenn Fosnacht, Megan Garner, Shelley Gates, Sarah Gatewood, Heather Gordon, Marissa Marianne Hall, Vincent Frank Handy, Shelby Lena Lee Hanna, Dustin Everett Hazlitt, Nancy Wells Hockett, Allison Marie Holyfield, Aaron Holyfield Howiek, Heather Amanda Jackson, Taylor James, Linnell E. Johnson, Timothy Johnson, Cody Killen, Jessica Boone Killen, Vincent Collins Kirkland, Lindsay Lee Langley, Zachary Nathaniel Langley, Teresa K. Mayo, Cynthia Harrington Mercier, Stephanie Louise Morris, Preston Nikes, Janet Aubrey Nikovich, Keila Trine Patrick, Caitlin Lee Perry, Anne Marie Porter, Rebecca Marie Reagan, Katrina Reno, 
Demetrius Levan Robinson, Savannah Socier, Holly Bedwell Slay, Deidre C. Thompson, Kelly Commons Walker, Brittany H. West, Patrice Williams Razor, Catherine Wyndham. Hello, I'm Pamela Shearer, Director of Alumni Relations. I became a member of the Alumni Association in 2012, and today you become a member of the Alumni Association of William Carey University. We want to keep up with you. We want to hear what's happening in your life with your jobs, your family, your successes. So please stay in touch with your alma mater. As you do so, you will be doing your part to make Cary and the alumni network stronger. You are Cary ambassadors, both within your profession and to students. I'd like to leave you with these encouraging words from 1 Samuel. Now then, stand still and see this great thing the Lord is about to do. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you for participating in this virtual commencement ceremony. Even though you're not able to be present here with us in the auditorium today, your presence is very real to our graduates. Your presence is very real to William Carey University. Your support and your encouragement have helped these graduates to persevere to finish their degrees in very trying circumstances. We are proud of each of them, and we count on you to help them celebrate and uh, give further congratulation and to support them now as they go on to the next stages and the next steps in their careers and lives. And thank you students, thank you graduates for trusting William Carey University with your education. We are here for you and those who need additional degrees, we hope to see you back to study with us again. Congratulations to each of you and God bless. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. And give you peace. And give you peace. And give you peace. The Lord make his face to shine upon you.